All right, what is up, guys? I am up and awake now. As you can see, I gemmed my spell factory. I only have 963 gems. I'm going to move that Mobison out the way because I did watch my YouTube, and I saw that you guys can actually see that. I did not think you could see that. So now that I gemmed, I'm just going to try to destroy a bunch of stuff around the base and try to get back up to 1,000. But then I hopefully... I'm so close to getting 450,000 to upgrade my wizards. Five gems in the bush. Then I'm going to destroy the, another bush. I'm pretty sure by the time I am destroy all this stuff around the base, I'm going to have about close to 1,000 uh, gems. Maybe not. But here is my last attack. Because I don't know what happened, but my... Recording got deleted again, so I'm just gonna show this attack and do some gameplay. Okay, so from this episode, oh no, I did not mean to say this episode. No archers protect the protect the giants. I had to get the archers to protect the giants because his clan troops came out. But then I forgot about the mortar that's just gonna take away all my archers pretty much. So I had to hurry up and spawn some barbarians to take it to him. But then that archer got lucky because it was hiding in, the, in there. But we finally get to it. Then I just spammed some giants because I had I had to waste archers to even get to um get in there. So I just had to hurry up and spam the giants. And this dude, I don't think his tra traps were even open because I just went all throughout the base and there were no traps. So I don't really know what's up with that. I don't like I I didn't see anybody go flying up in the air by a spring trap or get blown away by a bomb. But then again, I was really just focusing on my giants, not really paying attention to any other troops. And my level three wizards from my clan castle came in and they were just wrecking. This is why I want level three wizards. Uh, well, of course I want level six wizards, but because. The only, I don't use wizards, but once they get to a higher level, I will use them a lot. But until then, I won't be using wizards like that. Okay, now my giants are just going to go ham. And they're just going to be destroying. The only thing about giants is they're super slow. And in this one, I didn't have my spell factory gemmed at the time. But now I do have it gemmed. And I'm thinking, guys... What should I do? Should I do one heal spell and one lightning spell? Or do you guys prefer like two lightning spells or just two healing spells? Because as you see with this army composition, to me, I don't really think I need too much healing. I need a healing spell that much. But you never know because I could change my army composition around to test out the healing spell. Like just like all giants and a healer with some healing spells. Or I don't know, maybe all let me maybe like a barter strategy. But just let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I will see you guys next video. Like I said last video that got deleted. Freak. This stupid app Mobizen. But like I said in the last video, I'll be doing another video right after this one. I'll wait till my gems are done, because I don't like spending like 20 gems when I could just watch like a 30 minute TV show and be done with it. Plus, my troops are going to tell anyway. So, rather than spending about 30, like 30 something gems, I can, I can wait. I'm not an, un, I'm not an, uh, unpatient YouTuber. I can just watch a show, come back and be ready. But I will be making another one because in the afternoon I will be super busy and I won't be able to make one at night because I know as soon as I get back home, I won't, I won't be active, I'll probably be like, I made my first video in this morning, like, yeah, yeah, and this let's play, yeah, yeah, but now I'm up, and I got a lot of stuff to do today, so, probably, I'm just gonna hurry up and do these two videos now, cause I don't really have time, like I said, and, like I said last time, I don't really like balloons, so I won't be upgrading them. And I don't really upgrade spells that much. It's going to take one day. 
I don't know. I just never found spell something to upgrade until you really get to at least town level seven, because that's when you're really gonna need spells. Like when you're trying to get your barbaric king, if you're not just gonna go all throughout the base and waste troops, you might as well just drop two lightning spells on that dark elixir storage and dark elixir drill, but well, mostly the storage. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to go over. Showed you guys the attack I did before it got deleted. And that's pretty much all I have to do. Don't forget, please join the clan. I made, uh, like, two videos about the clan. And nobody has joined. No one. So you be the one to join. Free Elder. Anyone. Anyone can um come in. And don't don't mind this. Because I know it says everybody donated zero. And... Some some donated five and one guy donated one hundred and twenty five. If you do decide to join the clan, don't be one of these guys, especially me, because in my clan no one's really um asking for troops that much. So we're kind of like a chill clan. We don't really ask for troops that much. So none of us can really donate. And if we do ask for troops, Diego two point is usually always the one that donates before anyone else can. So don't join the clan and be a douchebag and don't don't donate at, at all. So excuse my language if that offends some some of you. But um yeah that's pretty much it guys. Now I'm just gonna keep destroying stuff and I will see you guys in the next video. And nah, I won't gem these two because I can I can wait a day for my archer tower spells. I just needed them real quick. Now I'm gonna destroy this trunk. And the weird thing is, some YouTubers actually want to gem their gem box. Like I've seen so many people, or I've heard so many people say, "Oh man, I wish I could gem my gem box." I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Like some YouTubers are just so impatient. It takes 25 seconds for your gem box. Why are you so impatient? But I mean, to me, I don't I don't know. It's not that deep. If you if you're busy like me and you're outside every day or you're doing things with your family and stuff, there's no point in gemming it if, unless you're one of those people that just love to be on your phone when you're with your family and doing stuff and not interacting with anybody and just like sitting there on your phone. Not talking to anyone. Found five gems. Like I said, I'll probably be either to a thousand or near a thousand because I will be destroying these trees too. And I will be doing the builder's hut glitch. I mean, it's not something that's, you know, like super exciting, but I don't know if to just, just look like something that I should do. Like I said, it's not something to be like, oh, snap. Glitch and Clash of Clans. Just something where your builder's hut, instead of it being in its hut, it will actually be outside laying down. Pretty sure everybody has already seen that video. If you have not, go look for it right now. Clash of Clans. Builder hut glitch. Like I've said before, I don't put links. I don't do that. I just tell you. Uh, I usually put it in the description, like my Twitter and Instagram. I don't leave links for that, because you're smart enough to look for it instead of being lazy. Even though I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty lazy for not putting for not putting links. Because to me, I don't know, descriptions just take too long. Because other YouTubers that like putting those super long descriptions, I, I can't do that. To me, it's just it's just not fun putting all that, putting the long des descriptions. To me, it's too much. I don't do it. I just do a little short description. Because if there is something I want to go over, I'll go over it in the video. Not during this. Okay, so now I'm not really finding too many gems anymore. I'm just destroying stuff. And that is pretty much going to be it. Because there's nothing else to destroy. I usually don't destroy cheese and all that because... To me, they're too expensive, but th this is a one-time thing. I'm just going to destroy this. Ten. Nine. And I know this is probably boring just sitting here listening to me yapping while I'm destroying stuff. Probably not the funnest, but if I don't get anything out of here, yeah, I didn't get anything out of there. So, 
that was a fail. Like I said, we got close to a thousand. And right now, I was just kind of bored, so I was just talking. Because time goes by when I'm doing YouTube videos. As you can see, I got 95 troops already. Because the reason I know some people are like, dude, you have freaking... You have everything up to healers. Why are you using barbarians, archers, and goblins? So they, Because I know some people are like, giants are cool, but barbarians, archers, and goblins, why are you using those? They're fast. Only 30 seconds for goblins. Um... And only 25 seconds for archers and 20 seconds for barbarians. So to me, it's an easy way for troops. And just like you would use the barter strategy, I like to call it the... Ooh, let's make a name right now. Let's make one. Jai... Jai Breaker. I don't know. I'll be thinking about that all day. If I do come up with a name... If I do come up with a name for that, I will totally I will totally let you guys know. Guys, let's let's make one. If you think of something with with goblins, barbarians, archers, and nah, you know what? Take the wall breakers out. Just put goblins, archers, goblins, and barbarians. Let's totally make a name for that. Leave one in the comments if they already have one and I just don't know about it. But I wanna make my own. And that is it for my video today. I will be doing another one right after. Peace.